wondering. And no one's contesting the decision. No, this is this is it. Best puff in the world. Mm -hmm. Shout out to that puff in California whose name I can't remember. I think you're cool. There's puff. also one in like South Carolina, but you know what? They're not born. They're not Seriander. I wish Seriander played with the green hat though. The sleepy cap. It really is the best one. Anyway, so game one, Smashville. Um, I've I don't know how it works now, but and like when Wii U came out, I heard some Jigglypuff players telling me that Jigglypuff does okay in this. Because you could body her off stage. Right. Uh, you know, it's definitely one of those things. Uh, I did used to play Puff for a little bit, and I know a little bit about this matchup. Really, the biggest problem is that little star child that, you know, gets in the way of everyone. I'm sorry, are you describing the Jigglypuff matchup or all of Rosalina's matchups? Jigglypuff matchup. Okay. But. Now I lost my train of thought. <laughs> <laughs> I, I get you said, so, okay, so Jigglypuff can do this. Her, her ails do a decent amount of damage, so she can kill Luma in like five or six hits. Um, you can body Rosalina off stage, and you're not that easy to combo because you're Jigglypuff. On the flip right. side, you die early, your grab game sucks. Um, and a lot of Luma's hitboxes just straight up outrange Jigglypuff's aerials. Uh, maybe her fair can sometimes clash with some of it, but even just standing over jabs, Luma's gonna well, beat out everything Jigglypuff has in the air. Yeah, because Luma, Luma's hitboxes count as a projectile, so like that one, Luma straight went through it. Right. Um, it didn't even, it didn't trade or plank it. Luma just plowed through it. And now Vice just keeping Sariander above him with those up airs was able to drift back to the stage ever so softly. I'm sort of upset that I put the clock back on. I, just, I would like to see what Siri does when there's no clock. Oh. When, what if he goes to different characters? No, I'm just kidding. I would not be surprised, honestly. Now, knowing how this man plays Jigglypuff. Not quite the spike. Hits the Luma hitbox and backwards. But we're just having a total stage control right now. And I guess that's one advantage. So even if you if you hit Luma and knock her away and you still get punished for it, you're you're gonna get hit by the weak hit, but not that uh, that up air. That was Luma up the butt. That was definitely you know Luma Luma uppercut there. Oh, and went for a very risky rest there. It was close to making contact though. The read yeah. was there. It was just slightly misspacing. Was, and, and so I was talking about this in the last match. Um, Denobro was using a lot of back air spacings to get around Z8. Um, he would go over Luma with the back air and hit Rose in the face. Which is cool. She's really tall, um, and, and like characters with small, like but longer reaching hitboxes can abuse that. But like if you're trying to hit her with a move that nice depends on good, sorry, good smash commentating, Kree. Thank you. I mean, uh, okay. You called me Kree. I did. You anyway, called so, me Kree. Uh, so when he, when resting is a lot more, it's going to depend on a horizontal space more than vertical because you're not going to like land right on top of her. It'll push you to the side. Um, and so it's hard on a really thin character like Rosalina who's like her. Her, dis her model is deceiving. Like, um, you know, Mennonite can, like, detail just under her while she's standing. It's. Anyway. I see what you're saying, yeah. Makes sense. But I see why you went for the Hail Mary rest. Because it's fun. Yeah, you know. Still a video game. So yeah, he just he just jabbed through any wall that Julie was trying to put up. And this is this is a bad position for Sari, because um the ground stage control, the ability to abuse landings, and then sort of collect himself in the air when he puts Luma back together. Um, I think, and we saw this in the last match, so Denobro was getting away with a lot of air dodges, like air dodging in neutral air, what have you, and Z8 wasn't sort of respecting the fact that uh, he can just air dodge in. Um, Viceroy is catching on to that with Jigglypuff. Isn't Jigglypuff is amazing air speed, you can air dodge and then kind of float away, but I think uh, also being a very floaty, light, air dodge heavy character. Yeah, Rosalina but. definitely has the tools where she can keep up with Puff in the air and really just punish her on top of uh, when she likes to float around with those air dodges and uh, just you know keep herself in the air. Back to Smashville. So I think, I don't think there's any real stage advantage. Um, maybe Lilat, maybe Lilat would be best, but. Maybe that, but that's still a stretch because Puff doesn't like that stage too much as well. Uh, I thought Puff loved Lilat. That was it's it's a love hate sort of thing. Uh, well, the tilts on the stage and the very low blast zone on the ground or the lower blast zone. You know what I'm talking about beneath the stage, yeah. or that being so low to the ledge, that really does help Puff secure a lot of kills. 
At the same time, though, the way the platforms are set up, it can be hard for Puff to land, especially against a character such as Rosalina. Weiser is just putting up a great wall here. He's, like, you saw the back layers, the lunar landings. Um, just like, you know, if you want to sit there and shield, fine, but you're going to have to sit there and shield the whole time or get hit by Luma. Um, and he's just using a bigger range to keep Jigglypuff out right now. Sarah's getting a little something going. Gets rid of Luma. Yeah, that's definitely what he needs right now. He's going to have to capitalize on top of these next 12 seconds if he wants to bring himself back which, into this Which match. is what everyone says, but it's not easy. Especially because Jigglypuff has no ground control. Yeah, like, it's so hard for Jigglypuff to approach. You know, as we saw there, she tried to lead in with the fair, but was caught with the up yeah. smash there. Laura's Lina kind of ducked under and then it traded. So that was, I mean, that was just great spacing. And, yeah. Because it's a mind by Viceroy. Ooh, tried to get a rest again. Hit the wrong character there with it. Well, at least he landed one. Gotta land one every yeah. match. Yeah. we're just keeping up in the air with those dash attacks. Yeah, and this is just not where he wants to be. Like, only two minutes have passed. He's down a stock and a half. Um, and Viceroy is content to do that weird slide thing. <laughs> That little, little glaive back. It's an interesting landing option. What, just full hop nerfs? No, he just kind of landed with the side B that went nowhere. Oh. Woo! Yeah, he's he's, he's kind of doing a better job of what Jigglypuff wants to do. He's, he's walling out with, with basically the same aerials. And then he's like, okay, he's got the jabs on the ground, and he's like, you can't trade with this. Um, no reason to go off stage. Let's see him take the hit, get staff smash. That'll do it. Very nice, well placed. Some very well placed back airs there. Mm -hmm. Did lead to some exquisite aerial reverse move. Some not saying the dreaded term. It was a nice back air. First one wasn't, second one was pretty nice. Oh, wait, for you? Yeah. I'll get you in a second, 